may know. Um, in a live action movie, the director goes out and shoots lots of film, typically between 10 and 100 times more footage than will end up on the screen. And then they take it all into the editing room and they build their movie in the editing room. And um, that's why, uh, you know, sometimes you see a movie and you go, that stunk. Didn't they know it? Well, the answer is yes, they did, but they knew it too late. They knew it in the editing room. They go, oh, Jesus. And by the time they knew it, the actors were gone, the sets were down, they ran out of money, and they had what they had, and they made the best movie they could. Um, well, or not. Or not, yeah. So in animation, it is so expensive that you cannot afford to animate more than a few percent more than is going to end up on the screen. You could never afford to animate 10 times more than is going to end up on the screen. So how do you do it? Well, Walt Disney himself solved this problem decades ago. And the way he solved it was he said, we have to edit our film before we make it, not after. Well, how do you edit a film before you make it? Well, you get your story team together and you do storyboards. You do these little pictures for every key scene. But that wasn't enough. Then what he did was he actually photographed them on film. He filmed each picture, of which there are, you know, uh, thousands. And then he got his, 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 he got scratch voices, people around the studio to do the voices. And he'd even put in some scratch music. And then he could watch his movie. And we still do that today. We use video, we're more sophisticated at it. But basically, we build our movie before we make it out of these story sketches. And we video them and we put scratch music and scratch voices so we can watch our movie. And invariably, what you think is going to work crashes and burns when you see it in the reels. And you iterate on these reels thousands of times. And only when it works in the reels do you then go animate it and huh. actually produce it. And, and so, you know, in Hollywood, uh, one of the most popular sayings is, you know, the story is king. But it turns out it really isn't. Because when push comes to shove, when a movie's in production and there's a lot of mouths to feed and they're waiting for stuff to make and the story's not working, almost everybody says, well, we just have to make the movie. And one of the things that I'm proudest of Pixar of is we have a story crisis on every movie and production's rolling and there's mouths to feed and something's just not working and we stop. We stop and we fix the story. Because John Lasseter, uh, you know, who's one of the founders of Pixar, he really instilled a culture of story, story, story. And even though Pixar is the most technologically advanced studio in the world, John has a saying that's really stuck, which is no amount of technology will turn a bad story into a good story. So um, that's, I think, one of the reasons why we've been so fortunate is that we get to look at our movies before we really make them and perfect them in reels and then go make them.